Coca-Cola Super Bowl commercial in which America the Beautiful was sung in several different languages got quite a bit of reaction. The, the commercial went viral, as did this reaction to it by Brenda Wood from WXIA in Atlanta. Atlanta-based Coca-Cola sparking controversy with this Super Bowl ad that ran last night. The ad features America the Beautiful sung in different languages, highlighting families of different backgrounds, including a gay family. But outrage quickly grew on Twitter with the hashtag Speak American, and some even calling for a boycott of Coke products. Well, first of all, this is Coca-Cola's brand, always has been. Remember the 1971 ad, I'd like to teach the world to sing with people from all around the world holding hands? At least some of us of a certain age do. Coca-Cola has always been about inclusion, and they clearly know how to get people talking about their brand. But the fact that people are outraged over this ad is outrageous itself. People indignant that others would have the audacity to sing America the Beautiful in a language other than English when America was built on opening its arms to the world? The quote on the Statue of Liberty doesn't say, give me your English-speaking only Christian-believing heterosexual masses. It says, give me your tired, your poor, your huddled masses, tempest-tossed. Have we forgotten that every one of us Americans, except for Native Americans, are descendants of foreigners? That the English language is from England? What makes America different from everywhere else is that we are a melting pot. We are not homogenous. It is our diversity that built this country. How dare they be indignation over the very thing that makes us great? And why not honor the beauty of that in song? What's so sacrosanct about this song that it can't be sung in other languages, by other ethnicities, by those of diverse religions and diverse lifestyles? A relevant question, considering the words of America the Beautiful were penned by a gay woman, Catherine Lee Bates, in 1895, an English professor at Wellesley who also wrote lovingly of her longtime committed relationship with another woman. America the Beautiful, by any other language, is still America the beautiful. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening, everyone. So what do you think? Let us know in the comments below.